What's up guys, welcome to your 23rd Java tutorial and before we get into it I kind of want to give you guys a warning um, because this tutorial might get a little bit uh, advanced because we're working with loops inside of other loops and you know there's brackets all over the place so I wanted to show you guys kind of what the code looks like at the end and what our end goal is, what we're actually developing or adding on to our little game if you guys you know played it a few times um, but what I was curious about is some of the statistics if you know how many positions in our array we had how that would affect our win result and all that stuff so as you can see this is the the end of our code so it kind of it's still kinda of short but uh, it's kinda of compl complicated or complex so let's just save this I'm gonna show you the application run ran down here um, this is kinda of the desired result you know we this is our chance of winning um, a game that has 10 positions within the array. should probably change the spelling, but it's going to be messed up for this tutorial anyways. But uh, as you can see, we added some new variable types and all that stuff. But again, if you guys get confused or lost during this tutorial, don't worry. Stick with Java. It's going to be awesome, and you guys will learn it uh, later down the road. I just wanted to kind of elaborate for those of you that wanted to see how an application is in process and uh, how efficient and effective Java can be for solving you know statistics like this um, so enjoy the tutorial I'll get you guys caught up to where you should be right now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new variable we're gonna call this one uh, int it's gonna be int type and we're gonna say num of games so the numbers of games we want to play, we want to play at least 100 to get some good statistics, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to set up a Boolean array. So yeah, you can do arrays with Boolean values as well. We're going to call this one odds, and we're going to set odds equal to a new Boolean array. And how many positions do we want within this Boolean array is we're going to set this equal to our number of games. So 100 positions. And also, just by uh, default, when we set up something like this, each position is going to be equal to false. So all 100 positions of our game is going to be equal to false. Um, just like when we set a, up an integer array, each position is equal to 0. When we set up a Boolean array like this, each position is equal to false. And the next thing that we want to do is we want to set up a initial int variable we're going to set this variable to be a. We're going to set this equal to be 0 to start with. What we're going to do is we're going to create a while loop that cycles through however many times we enter here, however many games we want to play. That encompasses our whole game. So pretty much here's our end ending brackets. So just keep that in mind. Um, we have two at the end that covers you know our main and our starting point so we want to keep those there and then we want to create a while loop that surrounds everything and I'll format this here in a second so it's not too confusing so we're going to say while a is less than uh, the number of games uh, we're going to do whatever is within these brackets here I'm going to cut this bracket and paste it down below here. So now let me uh, control shift format and we get some nice lines of code here. Or hopefully you guys don't get too lost with all these brackets we have going on. But you should have four brackets at the very bottom and then you know everything else that we've developed. So there we go. We're going to cycle through but we again we need to add to A, to a otherwise our application is going to crash. So right above our third bracket from the bottom we're just gonna say a plus plus and they will add one to a and we'll cycle through a hundred times pretty sweet huh the next thing we want to do is we want to get rid of our system out prints that we created earlier and uh, because we don't want too many lines of code here and we can get rid of this you have one or we can keep that for now but we're gonna get rid of it here in a second and within here we're going to set up our um, our odds and we're going to give this the position of A we're going to set A equal to be true and we're going to delete out now our print statement 
And we can also delete this else statement because we aren't going to set odds equal to false because by default um, it's already set to false, like I said, when we set up that array. So we can just delete that there. And now we're going to set our position um, of A. Again, our while loop is cycling through A, starting at 0. And then once it gets here, 1 is going to be added to it. So A is now going to be equal to, to 1. And it's going to cycle through our while loop again until we play as many games as we specified here. Pretty neat, huh? And the last thing we want to do is we want to define our statistics. So let's go outside of our while loop. After we've played 100 games so far, this is where we're going to print out our statistics. So first thing we need to do is we need to determine how many true statements are within our Boolean array. So we're going to say another for loop. And again, we're just going to specify int i is equal to 0. As long as i is less than num of games dot length, and uh, we're going to say i plus plus. So again, it's pretty much the same way we set up our previous for loop, but this time again, it's outside of our while loop. After we've played all 100 games, we're going to cycle through the while loop, and I'm sorry, this is supposed to be odds because we're testing our array, um, our Boolean array. So we're going to get the number of positions in our Boolean array. We're going to cycle through all those, and we're going to check for true statements. So what we're going to do is we're going to create two new variables. So we're going to call one um, num of wins. We're going to set this equal to be zero to start with. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, if statement in here, odds at position i is equal to um, true. Or again, we don't even have to compare it to true because again, this is a Boolean array. It will tell us if it's true or not. But if it is true, then we have won one game. So what we're going to do is we're going to say our num of wins is equal, um, or we're just going to add one to our number of wins. So again, our number of wins starts at zero. But if we did win a game, it's going to add one to it. After we cycle through all of our number of wins, we're going to figure out our statistics now. And since we're working with statistics, we want to create a double. And if this is completely confusing, guys, I, I can completely understand. I'm just kind of going above and beyond what we needed to do, kind of reviewing everything here. So we're going to say a double. We're going to set this double um, equal to percent win. We're going to set this value equal to uh, the number of wins. And we're going to divide this by uh, the number of games played. And there we go. But uh, lastly, what we want to do, maybe, is times this by 100 so we get a percentage. Because right now it'll be just like point, you know, one, zero, whatever. Um, so we're just going to times this by 100. And there we go. We have our double value. Now all we're going to do is a system printout. We're going to do a print, and we're going to say uh, percentage of wins. And then we're going to add a percentage sign, space of an array with, and we're going to create a, we're going to create a new variable real quick, um, array num, which we again which we haven't created yet. We're just going to say plus, and we're going to say um, positions. So believe it or not, we're almost done here. The last thing we need to do is we're going to set up another int value. We're going to call this array num going to set this equal to uh, 10 or basically however many um, you know numbers we want within our array I'm going to paste this below here and then all we're going to do is we're going to change uh, you know our initial array setup here to be array number or array num again our original game we had five positions and now it's just going to cycle through everything and print us out the percentage of wins uh, again of our game so let's save it and run it and then um, also yeah because these numbers are integers when we divide them it's gonna give us you know a result of an integer um, so what we need to do is we just need to change these values to be doubles real quickly so we're gonna change our number of win to be a double as well and we're also gonna change our number of games 
to be a double. Just so when we use that division later, uh, it will give us more accurate, uh, more accurate result besides just zero. Now when we change number of games to be double, when we create our boolean value based off the number of games, um, we need to cast it as an int as well. And then the last thing that we need to do is again when we check if our game result was true, um, then we you know add one or we basically um, tell the position of our odds to be true as well. But we never set our game result back equal to true for the next time it cycles through. So the last thing we need to do is we just need to add game result um, to be equal to true again. So when it goes through our while loop, um, it's going to be set to true again. It's going to do our checking and everything as well. And now when we save this and run it, I give it a, a array number of 1. So basically we're just flipping a coin to see if that is uh, you know, divisible by 2 or not. So it should be around 50%. That time is about 43% out of 100 games. I bet if we, and then 56%, if we gave it a more... Um, lengthy number of games such as 100,000 games we should get closer to 50% uh, the way that statistics work as you can see there we're pretty close and it should be you know around 50% most of the time so that's pretty cool um, now let's just check it out if we have a ray with you know three or two positions even how that works out so we're gonna run it we get a right around 25% chance of winning but let's do something else that we can't really figure out in our head, like 10. Um, I'm sure you can figure it out, but uh, you know it's not even 10% of 1%. So, um, you know, it's pretty cool little statistics uh, calculator here for, um, you know, our little game that we created. But again, guys, if you guys are confused with this, don't worry. I know we went way above and beyond what we needed to do. I just thought we, um, you know, showing all this stuff is a pretty good review of everything that we've learned. You know, this is a pretty good application to see how powerful Java can be. Um, and with just a few changing of numbers up here, you know, we can test out a lot of stuff. Hope you aren't too mad at me for, you know, completely losing uh, you guys. But guys, seriously, just stick with it and Java will become like second nature to you. And if you guys are completely confused right now, you know, you'll look back at this tutorial someday when you're showing your grandkids this tutorial and you're like, dude, I was so lost. I had no idea what I was doing in this tutorial. But now it's just so easy. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. Have a good one.